So in the SCAP software, what we need to do, just go to set problem. Here in the set problem, so we need to give ideal solar cell, ideal P injunction. So what I will do, I will go to layer one, and in the layer one, uh, these properties how we need to give, I have already explained it. So I will take no defect because I am uh, trying to simulate an ideal P injunction. Okay, so that does not have any recombination. So I am taking thickness as one. I am taking absorption absorption coefficient as one to twenty over six. That is the number I am taking. So band gap value you uh, you can choose whatever you want. So that is that is you take. And uh, doping density, so it is a P type. I want to simulate it as a P type. So I will write it as a P layer. So P layer. So now this is P layer with a uh, doping density. Say you can vary it. There's no problem. You can vary like 10 to the 16 or 10 to the 17. You can keep it. So I am keeping it at the 17. And uh, band gap, say I'm putting 1.4. Another parameter I'm not touching. So this is the ideal layer. Okay. Similarly, I will go to second layer second layer so thickness i will uh, try to give it less because uh, mainly our p type is absorber layer so this will be acting as this n type layer so this is n type layer i will type it so this n type layer is acting as a uh, window layer or a buffer layer so thickness i will give it 0.2 band gap i have, i will give uh, some value all the parameter i am keeping as it is only <coughs> only what i'm doing and uh, donor density i am putting 5 in 10 over 18 okay more than higher than uh, p type so it is making a pn junction basically pn plus junction okay other parameter i am keeping it constant okay and so p injunction are made and and then go back to the left contact left contact select flat band make it flat band okay so you click click on flat band so this is a flat band and the srv surface recombination velocity should be low as low as possible so for uh, they should be low for uh, reduce surface recombination. Okay, so so what we have taken, I have taken is 10 for electron and hole both. Okay, so 10 is I have taken 10 centimeter per second. Okay, similarly the front contact also uh, flat band and this SRV is set to be fi set to fix at 10. Okay, now this is our ideal solar cell. This is our ideal solar cell, and now what I will do? Now I will vary the band gap only. I will vary the band gap only on and we'll see how how the performance is coming out okay so p and both are homo junction uh, i'm taking so band gap is 1.4 so n is band gap also 1.4 both have the same same band gap of 1.4 okay now in this uh, 1.4 band gap uh, what i will do uh, i will just um, simulate it with uh, series resistance i will try to keep it as low as possible sun resistance as high as possible and uh, that's it so no no recombination only ideal p injunction okay so for p injunction ideal p injunction at 1.4 what are the efficiency coming out vuc is some value gsc is some value fill factor is some value efficiency is some value 32.93 that is 33 32.93 33 okay so this is one particular at one particular band gap okay now in this same layer i will go uh, i will vary the band gap 1.5 okay band gap p, p layer 1.5 band gap n layer 1.5 i'm not varying any other parameter i'm just varying the band gap only okay so now i will again simulate it and now i will observe what is the uh, performance parameter it is showing okay so let me check it out so the efficiency is coming 31.44 uh, the VOC parameter, JSC parameter, fill, fact, fill, fact, fill factor parameter, all those parameters are shown. Okay, so this way, this way, what I will do, I will vary the band gaps from say uh, zero to three EV, three electron volt. But at zero, it will not simulate out. At three electron volt, it will not simulate out. It will show conversion error. So at from one particular band gap value, uh, say you take the band gap value of uh, 0.3 to 3.3 or something like that okay something like that so in that range you very very this uh, IV curve you can see I'm very I have shown you three different values I have shown you that the three different values the simulation is running out and after simulation completion you can see out our IV parameters okay so the IV parameters are coming out 30 so you can see as the band gap is increasing efficiency is decreasing out 
okay and you can see we see uh, jsc and fill factor parameter so what i have did is i have made basically i have made a table for different band gap only varying the band gap for p and both i have generated a table like what are the voc what are the jsc what are the fill factor what are the efficiency for different different uh, band gap values so up to i have moved up to 1 uh, 3.2 okay so i have moved up to 3.2 so up to 3.2 this efficiency plot is being shown okay from this table from this data i have now drawn voc as a function of band gap jsc as a function of band gap fill factor as a function of band gap and efficiency as a fun function of band gap you can see if i just show you so voc line is directly increasing with our band gap and uh, this is star is for current so this is decreasing out as the band gap increases the current is decreasing out and this rectangular thing is your a fill factor so fill factor is big, uh, is increasing with the increase in band gap and overall this is spherical is spherical symbol is for efficiency so efficiency is maxim is maximizing at one particular vol voltage uh, band gap range that is 1 to 1.5 between 1, 1 to 1.5 you can see and then it is decreasing out okay so this is how we have plotted band gap as a function of uh, a dependence of a uh, performance parameter on band gap okay so voc uh, jsc fill factor efficiency so this these are sq limit parameters so these can be called as sq limit parameters for an ideal p injection solar cell so you can just compare out so you can just compare out these value so where the efficiency is maximizing our efficiency is maximizing at a point 33.46 at 1.4 okay so 1.4 band gap value so you can do what you can do you can put out 0.3 0.35 then 0.4 like that you can like take take a more precise value also and then you can plot a more precise uh, plot also so that that's so that is about how to plot sq limit parameters sq parameters from from our uh, uh, simulations uh, so you can use the use out you can use out this uh, you can use out this graph uh, for a in depth sq limit analysis you can generate your own sq limit plot okay so that's that's all for today's so thank you